Welcome to NCDOT Now. I'm Lauren Havlin. This week, awards were given out to the state's top multimodal transportation projects, and a ribbon cutting took place on the Outer Banks. First up, if you've driven on North Carolina's highways, you've probably seen beautiful, colorful wildflowers along the way. These flower beds are part of the Wildflower Program, one of the department's most popular initiatives. Each year, Division of Highways staff members are recognized for their work to improve the overall appearance and environmental quality of the state's roadways. The winners were announced on Thursday during the Board of Transportation meeting in Raleigh. To see the winning entries, visit the department's website. This was a week of winners as the first ever Moby Awards were given out to communities that have completed transportation projects featuring at least two methods of transportation. Transportation plays a vital role in all North Carolina communities. It connects people to jobs, medical care, education and tourism opportunities from the mountains to the coast. To meet the needs of our ever-changing and growing population, we must have a diverse menu of transportation options to choose from. 62 communities submitted nominations demonstrating how they're working to address these needs. Top multimodal projects were selected in five categories, urban, suburban, rural, tourism, and innovation. NCDOT's co-sponsors of the awards were the Triangle Chapter of the Women's Transportation Seminars, NC State University's Institute for Transportation Research and Education, and NCGO. You can view the winning projects and communities online. Moving on to the coast, state, federal, and local officials joined members of the community for a ribbon-cutting ceremony on Tuesday for the new bridge over the Oregon Inlet on the Outer Banks. The new 2.8-mile-long bridge is named in honor of former State Senator Mark Bassnight. The bridge opened to traffic on February 25th. The segment of the old bridge that will become a pedestrian walkway will retain the Herbert C. Bonner name. That's all for this week's edition of NCDOT Now. From all of us here at the North Carolina Department of Transportation, safe travels.